Hi there, this is my buddy the Phantom 4 Pro, and it's been giving me fits lately because I've been getting this message whenever I start it up. And I've been hitting ignore. And sometimes it'll work and sometimes it doesn't. But then I get this on my screen. And it was driving me nuts and I couldn't figure it out. I thought it was a firmware issue. I thought it was because I had installed iOS 11 on my iPad because I wanted the screen recording. But it wasn't any of that. It was because I needed to update the FlySafe database, whatever that was. And then that made it happy. So very quickly, I'm going to show you how to do that. First, and I hope you still have it somewhere, you're going to need this. This is a cord that changes uh, USB to the thing that fits into the Phantom right here. So after plugging that in right there, then you plug this end into Take this out of your controller, plug that into here, okay, like that, so that this is connected to this, you see, okay? Then, I know it sounds crazy, turn on the controller. You turn on the controller, I'm not going to do it now because I don't want to mess things up. So even though it's not connected to your device in the back, turn on the controller, then turn this on, that's right, I'm trying to remember, then turn this on after, then bring up your app. Then the app will ask you about the database thing and just click update. Okay, one caveat is if you do this and you don't get the message saying the FlySafe database needs updating, you will have to go in and do a firmware refresh and I'll show you how to do that. Once your app comes up, hold down these three little bars over here in the top right for about five or six seconds. Then let go. This special little window will come up and it says none right now because I'm disconnected but there should be a window here that says re refresh uh, but you'll have to download it first so it'll give you a version here and then you download and then it'll give you an option of refreshing. After that, hook it all back up the same way that it's supposed to go. On. Always the controller first, then the drone. Then the app. And then everything should be hunky freaking dory. I know this is very frustrating. See? All right? Boom, right in there, and look at that. That'll disappear. No problems. Thumbs up. This was very frustrating for me. I hope it helps. Not a fancy video this time, but go back, scroll back. I have fancier videos. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Buh and bye.